Bad things to say at a job interview. The, uh, the five-year employment gap, yeah. I was canoeing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have always wanted to work in a motel. I'm telling them, Mother, I'm telling them! <laughs> OK, here we go. The first subject is commercials that never made it to air. Masturbation. Are you getting your five a day? <laughs> this isn't just a gimp mask. <laughs> this is an S&M gimp mask. <laughs> I'm John McCain. Why not buy my fitness video? <laughs> we lost your bags we've lost your bags <laughs> 31 million names on three great discs her majesty's revenue and customs now that's what i call a monumental cock up volume one <laughs> next up again bad things to hear on opening the door in the middle of the night Hello, I'm Dar O'Brien. I'd like to talk to you about Mock the Week. <laughs> uh, I'll come to fix your washing machine. You asked for a call out between 12 and 5. <laughs> <laughs> Lines you wouldn't hear in a costume drama. Henry chewed her. But why did he chew her? <laughs> Let me read the signal from the victory. Are you paying too much for your car insurance? <laughs> My liege, your desire to marry again will split the church. Does it have to be a gay Nigerian? <laughs> Questions that were rejected from this year's exams. Complete the following sequence. 16, 35, 24, 8, 9. Now open the safe, grab the stuff and get in the getaway car. <laughs> Amy is 16. At least she said she was. How much <laughs> trouble are you in? The first subject is... The worst thing to hear over a tannoy system. <laughs> Only you can hear me. <laughs> Second floor, but you can't get out. <laughs> the lift doors are closing, leaving you trapped in an airless, windowless coffin, <laughs> hurtling downwards at a hundred miles an hour. <laughs> the next topic is unlikely lines from the final Harry Potter book. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Hermione, I can get rid of it. Chlamydia disappearo. <laughs> no, there, no, there is no post today, said Ron. The owls are on a one-day strike. <laughs> get the snitch, said Harry. I'll tie him down and you can drill through his kneecaps. <laughs> I'm sorry, Harry. I'm having a baby and it's yours said Professor McGonagall. <laughs> Things you don't want to hear at Christmas. <laughs> I'm sorry, there was no chimney, so I came through the central heating system. <laughs> I think I've buggered your boiler. <laughs> this year, I have decided to give my Christmas broadcast completely naked. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yes, this year we're pushing the boat out. We're having a duck in a goose, in a turkey, in a dog, in a horse, in an old lady. <laughs> Bad news for children. Father Christmas has gone into administration. <laughs> Unlikely small ads. Please get in touch. Our eyes met yesterday. You were the blonde undressing in the bedroom. I was the man lurking in your garden. <laughs> House prices falling, debts rising, feel like you can't quite cope. Pull yourself together! <laughs> Lines you wouldn't hear in a war film. Why are we speaking English? <laughs> I'm saving Private Ryan. Money on his car insurance. <laughs> Don't worry, Tommy. I'll, I'll make sure she gets it. It's chlamydia, isn't it? <laughs> Hugh has to be careful because this week I discovered, I don't know if you know what slash fiction is, <laughs> but it's basically gay fiction on the internet where they have people like, you know, Captain Kirk and Spock shagging each other. And there's one of me and Hugh. <laughs> You're doing that, Hugh, because you're the receiver. <laughs> I'm just going to make it easier for you. And the most offensive part of it is when they describe my pubes as being ginger.